Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube content. I'm Tom Kim. Today I would like to show you how to get RC curve in XLNR. A RC curve is a visualized plot that shows you the diagnostic ability of a classification system while changing a threshold value. In our program, you can get this RC curve from PROC library. So you need to use ROC function and specify uh, response and predictor and labels and legacy dot axis as true. Then you can get this one. Uh, again, you need to be careful about these labels because uh, if you do not specify this one, uh, you can have uh, different result from this confusion matrix. So as you can see, in confusion matrix, zero, I specify zero as positive, right? This is a default. And then you can get this sensitivity and specificity. Okay, so if you specify uh, this uh, like this, then you can get this hours curve and coordinates. So specificity and sensitivity is same as confusion matrix. Right, let me show you how to get at this R curve in Excel. Right, so in the previous video, I showed you how to get this probability by using maximum likelihood method. Once you get this probability, you allocate uh, predicted value as 0 or 1 based on uh, threshold. So, uh, our curve actually shows you how uh, your model uh, can have better uh, sensitivity and specificity uh, while changing a threshold. So there are uh, 20 uh, thresholds and in each threshold it shows specificity and sensitivity. Okay. Right. Uh, in our data, as you can see, there are some uh, duplicated samples. So we need to uh, have distinct uh, values by using pivot table. Select on this area. Okay. And X1 as rules and probability as the measurements and change from sum to average, okay, uh, sorting data from largest to uh, smallest, and copy and paste here, right, then the largest uh, threshold can be one, and the second one is the average of adjacent uh, probability okay right, then the last one should be zero right so as you can see this one is same as uh, our output uh, threshold right let's calculate uh, specificity for example uh, specificity for this threshold can be calculated by true negative over negative. So uh, true negative is actually this area. So we can think of two conditions to find this area. So we can use count if function, if s function. And first criteria from uh, column C here, press F4, comma uh, 1 for uh, true, true negative and uh, second criteria from predicted probability as a full and comma and it should be uh, rather than thresholds uh, over counts if negative is actually from mm, this one press f4 and comma 1 right because 0 is 
uh, positive and one as negative. Okay. We can apply this formula for other cells. Oops. Need to change. We only need to fix column here. Okay. And for sensitivity, we can use this formula again. Need to change, but we need to change uh, criteria as zero and smaller than. Right for this one, let's see specificity and sensitivity. Same, right? Okay, then let's calculate. Uh, let's get graph. Let's go to insert tab and charts. This one. Okay, and we need to uh, imp uh, change uh, axis. So click uh, inverse order here. And maximum value as one. Okay. Right. As you can see, same pattern here. Here and here, same, same pattern. Okay, right. So again, x-axis means one minus specificity, and y-axis means uh, sensitivity. Okay. All right. So again, uh, if uh, this is how you interpret our curve, so the model is not good, the act, then the R curve will shave like this, right? But uh, if your model performance is good, then you can have more uh, curve uh, shape like this all right so uh, well, once you get hours curve also uh, you can evaluate your models performance like computer metrics I hope it was useful uh, to understand how to uh, generate hours curve in Excel and R please click like and subscribe if it, it was useful for you thank you